Now, as you can see, these fishes are just four moons. The sizes of the fishes, they are healthy, they are big, and they are doing very well. They are secret to get your fishes to a bigger size in just four months. So watch out as we give you the breakdown on how. So it's lovely to have you back again to the channel. We've been on a short break for some time now, and we are back again to give you amazing content in the cartridge farm business. So today it's been a one it's been a wonderful start today and we have been working since the morning. Now we are going to be looking at three factors to make your fishes get to a table size and above in just less than four months. Now you, you, you can see the fishes I'm showing you over there, they are above one kg and this is just a little bit four months and some are not even up to four months. So if there are three factors for every farmer if you want to get your fishes to these sizes before the four months. Now look at the first one which is the environment you keep your fishes. And under this environment there are a lot of things we, you have to consider. First is your pond. What type of pond are you making use of? And also the stocking density. Now we have the different kinds of pond every farmer wants to go into. We have the earthen pond, the trampoline pond, the concrete pond. And all these ponds have their own advantages and their disadvantages. So today, the pond we used for this farm was a trampoline pond. And some people will tell you at the trampoline pond, they select the, the breed of use, but with good management, all this would not really surface in the farm business. So first of all, you have to look at the pond you're using and also your stocking density. Avoid overstocking your pond. That's the secret in this business, avoid overstocking your pond. Once you avoid that, one thing you will enjoy that the fishes will swim very well. You see them, they will react very well. There will not be any um, friction where you're not having cannibalism in the farm. So they will have a good grow out stages. Then the next thing to look out for, I've talked about the environment with your pond and your stocking density. Now the next one is the type of feed you give to your fishes. Now I know a lot of persons have seen maybe children that come from maybe a well-to-do family and once you look at them, you look at you, you be like, boy, how old are you? And the boy will say, I'm 12. You say, no, you look 18 because they look bigger than even their present age. They look healthy, they look good. But on the other hand, you see children that maybe from a family that is not too well-to-do and you look at them and they look 10, but their age is about 17 or 18. Now it's all boys down to the feed that they eat, the kind of food they eat. And also, like the first point to talk, the, also the environment also matters. And this also has to play out also in the fish business. So the feed you give to your fishes matters a lot. Now for the beginners, once you get the fishes, the juvenile, the fingerling, go out for high quality feed that has good protein content. So when you start giving them the fishes, you see them they will eat very well. And as they tend to grow, you also monitor the sizes. I see some farmers, they would give their fishes 6 mm when they are just a month old, they can't eat it. You, they, will, they won't eat, they will eat very well. So always give them the right size at each time and give them quality feed, not just the quantity. So I tell you, ah, I want to start making my feed. Now the, the mixture, the formulation you are doing, is it in the right proportion for the appropriate size? The 2 mm size has its different composition. The 6 mm has a different composition. So even if you want to produce your own feed, you have to watch out for the composition of feed you are giving to them. So that's the second factor to consider if you want to get a good output like what I just showed you earlier. Now the last one is the farm management. Now the farm management is the third and very important key. Now if you have good environment, good water, good feed, and you have a wrong management practices in the farm, I bet you no matter all the investment you do, you can't make profit on this business good farm management, employ capable and reliable hands to your farm. First, these are persons that should be honest, that should know what they are doing, have the technical know-how in feeding. When they feed, their feeding frequency and also how they feed these fishes matters a lot in this business. I see a lot of persons who just come and spray the feed. If they are eating, if they are not eating, they don't care. So observation is also key. You observe them, you feed, till they are satisfied and you allow them to rest there is a minimum time these fishes need to rest for the fish to digest properly you don't overfeed them and you don't also underfeed the fishes 
Also, the sorting, you sort regularly. You don't combine different sizes. Maybe you have the small sizes in one pond, you start combining up. You can't get good results. Now, you look at the fishes, you see that the sizes are near equal because the, the sorting was done systematically. We sorted at each time. The, the sorting was done and uh, resorting, resorting till we got to the stage we are looking for. And also the changing of your water. How do you change your water? These are management practices you should master in the business. How regular do you change your water? You go to some pond, even their neighbors can, are complaining because of the smell from the pond, they can't bear it. And also the fishes inside the pond can't also bear the smell. Now you see that you, you to have high level of uh, ammonia in the farm, the oxygen level will be low. So all these affect how these fishes fare in the pond. So if the fishes are not in a good environment, you don't change your water frequently, you don't expect those fishes to do very well. So change your water frequently. Give them good water, check the pH of your water, check the TSD, the, the total dissolved solid in the water. You check also the temperature of the water. So these are parameters you should check. And it takes a capable hand to do all these things in the farm. Now the farming business is not just investing money, it takes the, there is a skill to how to do it. So there is a skill, not getting the feed, not getting the pond, there is a skill towards getting better output from the farm. So these are the three management principles every farmer must understand to get a good output from the farm. Now for you to make one kg and above in less than four months, you must master this three key. First, your environment, second, your feeding, and third, your management principle. So have a wonderful time and we'll see you in our subsequent videos. Thank you.